Hey there, Shauna Mahaney, Superstar Director for Group Sentful Bliss, and I wanted to share with you today how I'm running my VIP program or my monthly mailing program. Um, and so basically, anybody that purchases from me um, for three months, they go in my program, I call it a monthly whiff. And the only way I have figured out how to do that for those of you that are consultants is to go into your performance tab you're going to edit the columns that you see. You're just going to want the names, addresses, and phone numbers. Um, if you want their phone number, I don't ever use that. And the last purchase date. Those are the items that you need in this report. Export it to Excel and then sort it out um, with last purchase date. <coughs> Excuse me. So then what you're going to do is pick who you're going to use. Now, like I said, I do three months. Um, but if that's not feasible for you right now in your business, that's okay. Maybe you can only do 10. Maybe you can do the last 15 people that ordered from you. However works best for you is what you need to do. So I had cards printed off on Vistaprint. This. I will read it to you. It says, here is your monthly with of Sensi. Thank you for your business. You'll receive a free sample every month for three months following your purchases. It has my name and number and all of that on it. Okay. So it looks like this. Now, when they haven't purchased for three months, they get this card. And this card says, oh no, please don't go. This will be your last month receiving your monthly whiff. If you place an order this month, your samples will continue for three more months. I hope to hear from you soon because your relationship is important to me. It has my information. Now, I can tell you, statistically speaking, almost a little over half of the people that receive this card from me order that month. And most of the time, if they didn't order that month, once they don't get their whiff, they're like, oh, I didn't get my whiff. And so they will order. So here's what I do. I bought these bags. They're little clear silicone bags, and I got them on Amazon. I will tell you, be very careful that you get the right size because sometimes the size is off just a little bit. So I bought these bags. Their card goes in it. I, um, like I said, I run their report and then I print labels off and I put their label on this part of the card, okay? And then I put the card in there, like so, just like this. Now, for the samples, I do different things. Um, some months, they just get the sample of the month that I make um, the little wax samples. I make my wax samples with one of those little candy molds. See, this one's not fitting, guys. See, that's what I was telling you about these envelopes. They're very mismatched, so you have to spend a little money on the ones that are a little more expensive because it just saves you a lot of frustration, like this. So you stick that in there like this. Now, the samples. I go back and forth. Some months they do. They just get a sample of whatever the scent of the month is. Um, this month was vanilla mint. I thought it was great. I was in a crunch for time. So I just made a sample of vanilla mint. Okay? Now, note to self. This little package cannot get too thick. Because if it gets too thick, you're going to have to pay for it as a parcel and not as a standard envelope. So, you don't want to get your things too thick. So, when I make my samples, I only fill them about halfway. Okay, so the sample goes in there as well. Now, I always throw a little something extra in here. What I normally do is I make another postcard. And on that postcard, it'll have different things. Like, um, I'm trying to get a Hostess of the Month program going. So, last month, I sent out a postcard with the Hostess of the Month information on it. This month, I'm going to send out a postcard, and on the postcard, I'm going to put Bring Back My Bars on it, and on the back of it, I will do a, um, I don't know, something probably along the lines of the 106 pack challenge I've given myself. So, I print that out, and I put that in there as well. One thing I'll learn, just a little side tip for you, when you're making these postcards, the best way and easiest way I have found to do that is, of course, I use PicMonkey. I've talked about that before in my other um, programs. Uh, videos. <coughs> Sorry, this cold. Anyway, I use PicMonkey. I designed my postcards. And then I upload it into Avery. So you can go to Avery.com and you can pick what size you want. And so I pick the shipping labels that print four to a page. And that's the perfect postcard size. So that's just a little extra tip. So of course that goes in here as well. Now I don't, like I said, I don't always do wax samples. Really very seldom do I do wax samples just because we all have wax and warmers. I want to get people addicted to other things. Um, I have done washer with samples. I did hand cream samples, all kinds of different 
you know, samples on there. There is a group on Facebook. I think it's called Layers and Samples, something like that. It's a great resource for you. So it all goes in here. Like I said, I put their name on that. Now, this is not a standard mailing because it does have a little lump. See, it has that little lump right there. So because it's not completely flat, it is non-machinable. So you have to pay extra for postage. You can get these butterfly stamps. I wish I had one to show you, but it's a purple or blue butterfly. It's a 70 cent stamp. So these do cost 70 cents to mail. Now remember, um, it is a business expense. You're putting that off on your taxes. You still have to keep it where it's no thicker than about like that because it has to fit through that little slot. And the mailman can tell you exactly what you need to do. Put that little 70 cent sticker on it, slap that baby in the mail, and voila, you have a customer mailing program that's as easy as that. Hope this helps.